the Beyond Limits show is an extraordinary privilege because if you like, I'm being given an opportunity to use the historic gardens of Chatsworth as my playground, essentially. <laughs> In 2010, one of the highlights of the show was uh, a piece called Engine of Evolution by Mark Quinn. And it's a uh, sort of over life size, scaled up uh, sculptural depiction of two orchids, a male and a female. It's a very clear reference to procreation and about the future, hope for the future. Obviously, at Chatsworth, you have this beautiful uh, rolling landscape, rolling hills with very dark trees and intense blue skies. So the whiteness of this sculpture really made it stand out. We got a call from a very important um, member of a ruling dynasty in the Middle East who was intrigued by this sculpture and wanted to come up to Chatsworth and have a look at it. And indeed, in a few days, everything was booked and this was going to be a helicopter ride. The weather was absolutely dreadful. There was snow on the ground up in Derbyshire, so it was sort of white out. As we flew over the grounds of Chatsworth, I knew where it was positioned and I just couldn't see it. It's a sculpture that is designed to really stick out like a silhouette. I thought, oh dear, I hope this is not gonna be a wasted trip. The sculpture is white and he's just not gonna be able to see it. We hadn't radioed ahead to inform Chatsworth that uh, actually this wasn't any old helicopter. This was a Chinook helicopter, the type that is used for sort of heavy airlifts by the military. And we came down to land and uh, the Duke of Devonshire was there with a waiting party, a couple of Land Rovers to greet us. And as we came to land, I was looking through the sort of porthole window and just before we touched down, the twin rotors kicked up the most enormous snow cloud that you've ever seen. And I could just see the welcoming party literally diving for cover. And I was just, you know, I just couldn't believe it. How was I going to apologize for this? I took the client and his party over to see the Mark Quinn sculpture. And fortunately, a blue sky had appeared and you could actually make out the contours of this piece. The client absolutely loved it. And uh, indeed it was purchased soon after and shipped to a new destination and uh, sits in a, a very modern contemporary building befitting um, a work by, by Mark Quinn. The artwork that I deal with, I absolutely love. There is just, everything is different. Every work brings a different perspective or a different understanding to a moment in time, a moment in history, to understanding a personality, the artist, or has a story to tell because it belonged to a certain collector. The provenance is often fascinating in itself. And not only just the artworks and the provenances of those pieces, but the art world more generally is a fascinating place. And the interaction, the travel, it all comes together. It's a quite a sort of intoxicating mixture.